but collect its magical materials, Deke. Now, now Deke can Deke show can you how to use, use them. them. First, First, you'll need you'll to use this spellcraft to conjure, to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom. An enchanted loom. Exactly. exactly. It, will it will allow you to use your, to use your magical, magical materials to weave magic, magic into the very threads, threads of your clothing, of your clothing making, making the clothing, clothing more, more useful, useful in a variety, in a variety of ways. ways. Why don't Why you try it? it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. What's up guys, King Cage coming back to you with some more Hogwarts Legacy, and I have my character once again looking stupid as ever. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and meet up with Natty. Um, there's a part right before this, I might clip it on to the beginning, um, but uh, Natty just basically said she wanted to see me, and uh, I had a really cool interaction with some of the, uh, the animals I collected, so... This place has seen better days. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but um, but yeah, Natty wants us to meet her, so we're just gonna come over to the castle ruins and uh, see what's happening. See what's going on with this freaky uh, meetup spot. Oh, maybe it starts at daytime. Okay. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demogai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Okay. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demogai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps uh I shall pay him a visit. Alright, that's a quest for another time. Uh, but right now, let's hang out with Maddie. Or, sorry, Natty. Psst, over here. Quietly. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hog's Head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Hallow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts oh, student? Shoot. Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Grimgotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. <coughs> it's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. All right. Um... Can't we just bypass off as a singer and go directly to the ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The ministry will come in later. Probably. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. You know, like I didn't. Uh, I know you guys probably saw that um, that one episode, uh, Lies. It was uh, I was uh, named Lies on my YouTube. I don't know what I called it when I streamed it, but yeah, I was like, 
I basically lying to Sebastian, lying to her, and like, I didn't want to, but it was just like, you know, Fig said to keep it secret, and like, I didn't want to betray his trust by telling everybody, so. But, I mean, she found out anyway, her and Sebastian, so it's whatever now. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Well, like, I, like, when I had the choice to, like, like, basically, like, not tell her, like, I struggled for it for a moment because, like, I like Natty, like, a lot. She's such a good friend, and, like, I don't want to lie to her, but it was just, like, I didn't also want to, like, you know, betray Rookwood, uh, sorry, uh, Professor Fig's trust and just, you know, start telling everybody everything after he asked me to keep it quiet, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and go up here. Wait, what? Okay. Um. I guess I'm just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Hmm. I wonder what that does. That didn't work. Perhaps something with a bit more force. I'm like, bro, that the Pulso it. has plenty of force. Um. Nope, wrong. Wait, when did I... What? Um. Uh, okay. Okay, my character did uh, Levioso on his own, so uh, that's what kind of confused me because I'm like, I know I didn't touch that. Okay. See, so, yeah, he did that on his own. Um. Levioso. Alright. Revelio. Sure is this the entrance? No. Wait, wait, what's this? Alright. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. And you also need to not die in the process, boy. Calm down. Dead end. Must be another way in. Uh, okay, it's more Wingle World Potion. Wingen Weld. I call it a Wingle Weld. Alright. Yo, uh... Can I not? I'm about to say. Wait, can I not cast spells? What the heck? Yo, how do I... Can I, uh... Get out of my way. Ooh, that just made me mad. Like, why would you put that right there out of all places? Why would you put that right the there? Gate. Uh, I can't believe I had to write this down, but you moon minds don't listen. Um, push the gate open. Don't blast it. <laughs> if I find it blunt's pieces again, I swear he'll be the end of you lot. Alright. <laughs> alright, um... Did I do it? Good lord. Well done. I will be right up. Oh my gosh. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Wait, I can do that too? What the heck? Why, why didn't y'all let me do it? That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... Wait, is I she crying? It. Or is she scared? Yeah, restrain the face. Whoa! 
Oh no, 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 we can't have that. Oh no, we can't have that. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Oh no. No, 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 no. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. No, Natty. Natty, Natty. Oh my gosh, dude. He stays out of trouble. Oh my gosh, please, please, please. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I do not want her to get hurt. Um. I don't know what. Um. Um. Uh. I can't go through there. Um. Can I just? Uh, let me see. Revelio. Okay. 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 Natty, please stay safe, dude. Let me uh let me double check and make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um Alright. Not the safest place to sneak into. Wait, is it just uh all oh, right. I tell you, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. All right. Uh, let's see. Revenue. Wait, what's this? Get down, you're in a heap of trouble. Talking too much. Oh, okay, that's what that was. All right. Alohomora. He's having an easier time of it. Is this a Hello, Homora? something up here or is this okay whoa you're going home in a wooden box okay. whoa whoa uh! none of that oh shoot What 
have you done? Um, okay, they fell to their deaths. Okay, that had nothing Hello, to do with more. me. Although, I'm getting a little bit better at combat. Although, like, sometimes I'm panicking and don't know where everything is. Probably just because I haven't preset it yet, but I am getting better at combat. Okay. Actually, let me, um... Okay, let me, uh, fix this. Alright, there we go. And then, um... Nope. There we go. Okay. And then... Wait. Okay, so that was pool, so... On this one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that one's good. So, up, down. Alright, we're good. Revelio. There's another one. There you are. Whoa. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Natty. No. Oh my gosh. Natty. Natty! Whoa! What? This dude's just trying to have a cadaver us! Dude, just try to Avada Kedavra us! Oh my god, that was There's wild! The Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. Yo, this is awesome. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Dude. Wee! <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Oh man, right when the sun's rising too, like look, oh my gosh. Top tier gaming, folks. Top tier. wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Uh -huh. to find the letter. Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? 
I've only met Hyrule before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. <laughs> That's so cool. High wing. Yo. Wait, what? No need to race now, my friend. Yo. Past the high wing. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Man, this just never gets old. Should we go for it? Heck yeah. Woohoo! That was amazing. Alright, uh, how do I, um, tool while holding it on? Oh, nice! Dude, that was so cool. Kinda weird how you just suck high wing into the bag, though. Like, that felt a little bit weird, but whatever. I don't know why you don't just get a snitch from inside. Because I told you, I can transfigure one. You can transfigure a golden snake. Alright. Alright, let's see what else there is to do. Alright, quests. Um Let's go to astronomy class because that was the next thing to do. Um Okay. Astronomy. I did not mean to do that. Map. Um there we go. Yeah, I like to take my time with this game, like, usually, and that's how you know I really like this game, because, <sighs> sorry, I'm a little bit sleepy, kind of pulled an all-nighter, uh, but I, I'm taking my time with this game because I really just don't want it to end. You know how, like, you love something, so you're trying to, like, have your cake and eat it, too. Like, this is kind of what I'm doing. Like, I really just don't want this game to end. Like, I just want to keep playing it. Okay. Um, I... Did I do something? No, I think I'm still heading in the right way. Yeah, astronomy, it's up here. Alright, probably shouldn't go into class with a mask on. So I'll just... I'll take the... I'll take the hat off too. I've always said that travel broadens the... And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Cool to see a helpful puff and a slither and getting along. They're like the farthest away from each other. Ladies, Professor Oof. Shah. Astronomy is not divination. 
<laughs> you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Oh, snap. Hey, yo. Oh, shoot. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. <laughs> Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> Yo, that was so cool. It wasn't now much, but it was still all cool. Of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. <laughs> How is she not cold? She's like the only oh, one without hello. a coat. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Um, why would I? I mean, to be kind, yeah, I would say that. But, like, I mean, I kind of need it. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Alrighty. I'll find them with the telescope in the storage area. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. <laughs> How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? Professor Wait. Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <laughs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. So, did he say find Sirius? Yo, he did! Hold on! Wait, 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 wait. I know, wait, I have to record, hang on. Didn't he just say after, like, go back and listen. He, I think he, when he was talking, he said after finding Sirius, it's a bloody dog, isn't it? Like, he's talking about Sirius Black. But, like, not really, because I don't think Sirius is around yet. No, he's not. This is like a hundred years ago or something. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. <laughs> the constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Yeah, I agree with you the most. I agree with you there, but Alright, um, wait, what? Where am I going? What the heck? Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah, it should be like directly under. I don't know why I was trying to tell me to go up. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I'll meet. Where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck, look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. The smaller set of stairs on the main observ- Wait, so up here? 
Is this the this is the main option? What? The smaller set. Hang on. Rebellion. Ah! I am an idiot. I'm so sorry, guys. There this we go. This his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <laughs> hey, man, he takes good care of it. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. Do not uh, let it be wasted. Sure. Alrighty. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Hmm. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. <laughs> Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Eh, why not? He's a cool guy. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? I always like hanging out with people. Like, I don't think anything is, like, very nerdy or anything like that. It's just, like, you know, some people have different activities. I don't mind looking for it. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Hang on. Um... Uh, almost. Uh, uh, all right. Lumos. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Ahmed. Lumos. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the class from now and then. Yeah, I'm one of those people it's that's that like creepy out oh. here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging <laughs> ahead. <laughs> uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Uh, here I am charging ahead, huh? Sissy. No, but I'm one of those people, like, I'm always down for, like, you know, adventure, like, just hanging out, like. So I kind of, like, it's like no matter what, like, one of my friends want to do, like, I'm always kind of down for just hanging out and stuff like that, so. All right. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I thought. Lumos. Lumos. I feel like some spooky stuff's gonna More happen. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? <laughs> Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. Lumos! Look, there's a table! I huh. think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. What am I supposed to do? How? Oh, okay, I'm like, bro, you're not telling me how to use it. The constellation hey. should appear near the center of your view. Um... Wait, uh, rotate. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Ah, uh, okay. That? I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. 
and I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have <laughs> ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, <laughs> anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I'm a cool dude. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. <laughs> I hope you're safe uh, walking back. I have heard back. of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet All me right. at his home. Alright, uh, we're gonna do that after we meet up with Sebastian. Um, quests. Let's see what's going on with Sebastian. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Hmm. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Hmm. Dark arts are dangerous. I'm curious about the dark arts. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Hmm. I'm gonna say you don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. <laughs> it's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Yo. Um... For my character, I'm going to say no. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him, the anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Jeez, dude. I mean, he didn't have it. He didn't. Wait, he had... Yeah, he did not have a choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Let's speak to Deke real quick. And uh, see what, what's up with that. Would like to talk with you when you have a moment. All right. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. What's happening? What is happening? 
Whoa. Yo, what? Yo, what? Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tob's master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tob's. Yeah, for sure. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tob's for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Yeah, well, like, I really hope nothing bad happened to, like, Deke's friend, because, like, after, like, I did that search for, like, that girl's brother and, like, he was dead, like, that was so messed up, and it was just, like, I didn't even realize he was dead. Like, I know I fought those creatures and stuff like that, but I didn't notice he was wearing, like, the piece of clothing that she had described, so, like, after he was, like, tell her that her brother's dead, I'm like, wait, I'm like, that was her brother back there? Like, dude, it was just, and then, like, she just started crying. Dude, it was so heartbreaking. It was so messed up and so heartbreaking. But. Alright. This must be Tobbs' cave. I suppose I should head inside. Alright. Looks pretty creepy. Let's see what's going on here. Search for Tobbs. Oh my gosh, dude, I hope he's okay. I really don't want to repeat. Lumos. Lumos. Tobbs, uh, you missed your quote about three files. You know what that means. It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of Seamus' shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you will be given no food for a week! I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for, my, for the next shipment, I best see bloody bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food. Bro. Yo, who Tops is this dude? Is awful. Who is this Tops. dude, bro? Me and Tobbs is master. I have to have a talk, bro. Tobbs? Tobbs? Dude, I swear, if Tobbs is... Me. I swear if Tobbs is dead, dude, I'm gonna be pissed. And I saw a freaking spider. Alright. Dude, I swear, dude, if Tobbs oh Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Yeah, you thought. I hate spiders, dude. Wait, what? No, I saw some. I pressed ominous regarding. Whoa. Lumos. What? Whoa! 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 What was that? Dude. Oh, did I just see what I think I guys? Did I really just see that? Dude. Please, dude. Uh, please. 
Please. I don't want to fight that, dude. Please do not do this. Do not do this to me. Oh my gosh, dude. Please, please do not do this. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. I'm trying to, uh, you know, test out all the, uh, all the different stuff. What's this? Yeah, we ain't playing none of that. Yeah, get on up out of here. Eight legs is simply too many. <laughs> I agree with you there. There's just sometimes there's sometimes my character says something that's like not me at all, and then there is like sometimes my character will say something exactly as I would say it, and I'm like, wait, what's down there? Rebellion. Okay. Nope. 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 Ugh. Freaking spiders. Dude, stop with that noise. Oh my god. I can't. I don't like spiders. I don't hate spiders, but I don't like them. If that makes sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That's a huge spider! Ah, oh god, 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 yeah, move, move! The heck? Yeah, stop that. Get sliced and diced. Master, if you're looking for Tops, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Uh, Tops hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's too much. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow. And please be careful of the spider. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Dude, Tops, oh my gosh, dude, please be safe, please. Please, 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 please. Dude, I can't handle telling anybody else about, like, uh, I just can't handle that. I hate being the best, whoa, whoa, dude, these, stop crawling around, oh my, dude. Get me out of here, please, 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 get me out of here, get me out of here. I can't, I can't deal with that. Uh, nope. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Ah! The freak you doing? Ah! 
What? Stop it. Whoa. Ah. Oh God. Oh God. Ah. Oh. Fiends. Okay. Um. That is it, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I got to hear because the time's running out. I'll see you guys in the next video.